everybody. Welcome back. Listen, every month we do welcome back the Erie County Health Commissioner, Dr. Gail Burstein, and get caught up on what's coming across her desk. Well, this morning she's brought along Timothy Hoax, who is the Commissioner of Senior Services. So good morning, folks. Nice to have you here. Good morning. Good morning. And your, your desk is probably never clear. There's things happening all the time. I view a messy desk as a productive <laughs> desk. <laughs> Timothy, let's talk about you being... Um, the Commissioner of Senior Services, you have some events coming up and information you want people to know about. Yeah, so the Department of Senior Services, we provide so many different services that we want the public to know about. So it's not just the Meals on Wheels and Nutrition, but it's the in-home care that we provide as well. Mm -hmm. And so we have some opportunities for the public to come and let us know how we're doing and provide feedback. So there are our public hearings that we have annually, and this year we have four of those. And so Great. if the public wants more information about that, they can call our 855 Five eight eight five two six number. That's our information and assistance line. And I also want to uh, inform them that uh, Medicare Part D open enrollment starts October the fifteenth. Mm. And so we have over forty nine plans here, and it's it, it could be so confusing. And so yes. we want to ensure people that if they call us, call our department at that New York Connects line, the the eight five eight eight five two six they can get options counseling from certified counselors that can help them make those types of decisions. Tindy, where are the hearings held? And so we have one, um, the, the first one will be October 25th at the uh, town of Amherst Senior Center. Mm -hmm. The next one will be October 30th at Schiller Park in the city of Buffalo. We have October 31st at the Westside Community Center and then November 8th in the town of Hamburg. Mm. So we really wanted to spread it across the county and give people the opportunity to come and, and talk about what's going on. And, and what kinds of things do they bring up? So um, one of the big things is uh, the conversation about caregivers. We know how important they are to helping individuals stay well and independent in our community. So we want to get more feedback from them. So mm -hmm. earlier, um, actually last month, the county executive, Mark Polenkars, he wrote a letter in several papers asking for that feedback from caregivers to say, hey, how can Erie County Department of Senior Services and Erie County as a whole serve you better give us ideas on what we ha what we can do to to better support right. you right and positive change has happened yes because yes, of some of these yes, ideas yes and so we're starting to understand better so we we're doing care consultations That's great um we're, we're we're meeting people in their homes and, and so it's a, it's a great and excellent opportunity but it's a necessary thing and so right. the important thing is a lot of people don't think of themselves as caregivers they mm -hmm. say hey this is just what i'm doing for mom or dad right but they need the support and so we're here to to support them and and listen to them and say, hey, if there's anything that we can do differently to support you, please let us know. Uh, Dr. Burstein, speaking of seniors, uh, pretty soon moving into fall, we'll be seeing more rainy days, we'll see leaves on the ground. A senior safety, very important. Right. I mean, falls are a big health risk factor for seniors. And, uh, you know, as we age, our, uh, you know, vision capabilities start to decline, our hearing capabilities, our balance starts to decline. And so it's, uh, it's really easy for individuals to fall, especially if they're taking certain medications that can make them drowsy and, and make their balance mm -hmm. even worse. So it's, uh, you know, it's really important to, uh, like, as a caregiver, Task. What if a son or daughter can kind of like walk through the home, their parents' home, and just take a look and mm -hmm. see like what ideas? Oh, maybe we can put a rail here, sure. or maybe we should put a carpet here so you won't slip on the slippery floor. Maybe we can buy you the good pa pair of slippers that have good traction so you won't fall. So those are just some you know simple things mm -hmm. to do. You know, review medication with the physician just to make sure that they're minimizing their the you know the the drowsy potential um, getting going for an eye exam mm -hmm. um, you know also getting your hearing check see if uh, you know most people who are over 60 high five need you have some type of uh, level of hearing impairment mm -hmm. I mean it happens to pretty much everybody sure does. so just you know get just get those things checked out and right. because many times falls are preventable yeah so true well listen this is great information and of course all you have to do is go to uh, uh, the erie.gov uh, website and in this case for Timothy it's erie.gov slash senior services if you'd like to know more about those upcoming hearings but that's just a great idea and it really gives caregivers an opportunity to speak up too yeah. uh, on behalf of, of who they're taking care of and what they feel they can uh, need from the county so it's great that you're listening thank Thanks. you so much Timothy Hoagson and Dr. Gail Burstein all right we're going to take a quick break and be right back so stay with us